week three felt like that Sunday that always happens sometime in the first month of the season where it just feels like there is a very high volume of injuries. And so Monday morning is uh, digging through a lot of them for me. I know. And there was a, a ton of players who were out this weekend as well. Let's get first up foremost about the New England Patriots quarterback, Mac Jones, who got hurt at the very last throw of the game. It's never easy when Calais Campbell falls on anybody. And it looks like he fell right on Mac Jones's ankle. What is his status as we speak right now? I think everybody who's seen the photos of Mac Jones leaving the field knows how much pain he was in uh, once that game was complete. What I and Ian Rappaport were told is that test confirmed it is a high ankle sprain. So you're talking about ligament damage in the ankle. X-rays negative, but it's going to take some time here to heal. The hope is that Mac Jones is not going to need surgery. You know, the doctor at Alabama is the foremost guy on the tightrope surgery that Tua Tunga Bailoa and other players have had, but generally players want to avoid surgery if they can. It is really hard to imagine that Mac Jones plays this week against the Packers. It is probably more likely that he's missing multiple games because of an injury that, you know, often is a four- to six-week deal. But every one of these high ankle sprains is a little different. Everybody's pain tolerance and their healing is a little bit different. And so timetable still TBD. He's getting the second opinion. But I would not anticipate you're seeing Mac Jones out there this week and probably at least one week beyond that. I mean, we're not doctors. We don't play one on TV. But we, we're, we've we been around injury reports and conversations about high ankle sprains for a while. If it's significant, is that uh, – are we talking ligament damage and potential uh, – certainly if they're looking at – whether a second opinion for surgery is necessary, that you're, you're talking about a ligament being torn or partially torn or something like that, right? Right, and that's what I was told is it's a pretty severe one, and that's what a high ankle sprain is, is it's, it's a torn ligament. It's, it's the same thing. So, yeah, it's a pretty significant type of injury. You know, the tightrope surgery can, you know, fix it and get a guy back onto the field, and I want to say Tua played in, in the BCS in like less than a month when he had his uh, several years ago. So it can expedite the, the return time. But, you know, like with every surgery, there's risks involved. And there's, you know, certainly something to be said for just the body's natural healing power. And so we'll see. Again, what I was told is the hope is that he's not going to require surgery here. But that's why they're getting the additional opinions before deciding how much time he's going to have to miss and what his rehab timetable is going to look like. Tom Pelissaro here on the Rich Eisen Show. We talked earlier with Chris Long um, about the Sunday night game. And he said that more than the inconsistency from Jimmy Garoppolo, what concerned him the most is the fact that Trent Williams went down and that's what changed the tenor of the game significantly. What is his status as we currently sit here as a huge Monday nighter next week with the Rams and the Niners playing the first of two times? Trent Williams is also believed to have a a high ankle sprain, Mm. and that's what uh, Kyle Shanahan indicated was the most likely scenario. I mean, it's a painful type of an injury, and Trent Williams has played through plenty of pain throughout the course of his career, but a big man with that type of an injury, uh, it may take a a little bit of time for him here. There's no replacing Trent Williams. There's no question that he opens up a lot of different things in terms of your protections and in terms of how you can run the football. If you want to put a 350-pound man in motion, you have that option with Trent Williams and probably not a lot of other people. It's going to be an adjustment, though, at a time that if you watch the 49ers offense last night and Jimmy Garoppolo I saw, saw that said this after the game, they just don't look like they're in sync. He's not really in quote-unquote game shape at this point, just in terms of, you know, he's done all the throwing and he's worked out on the side, but he didn't really get any time in camp and he didn't play in the preseason. And so this is kind of his, his ramp-up right now. It's not ideal to be doing that in week three, but you would expect they're going to get better. If Trent Williams is out for, you know, multiple weeks here, then that's going to be another challenge they got to deal with mid-flow. 